so good morning everyone i welcome you to uh, devops demo so i am raj so i have 10 years of experience into it so i have started my career as java developer and then uh, slowly you know after working for few years so i have transitioned from being a developer uh, to devops engineer so now after that uh, i became a devops lead and uh, right now i am handle devops project as well as an SRE. So more focused on SRE right now. So previously, the project which we have developed on DevOps is slowly I have, you know, given them, uh, given that project to my client. So we are like supporting that project, but now we are mainly focusing on SRE. So SRE is all about AWS, DevOps, and monitoring. So I would be focusing uh, on DevOps, not only on DevOps, AWS, and Terraform as well as monitoring okay okay so silence i take it as yes so what we are looking at you know is we want to you know become devops engineer right in first place so uh i think most of you know what is sdlc right so because you guys understand what is sdlc so uh we want to look at the picture of how devops about so uh, how many of you know what is devops exactly your thoughts on it so have you watched any videos uh, uh, floating around on youtube or uh, are you totally new to this or do you understand bits and pieces let's make it, it an is, interactive uh, system yeah cicd continuous integration continuous delivery automation tools okay anybody else thanks <laughs> DevOps is a methodology for automation okay. and integration. Okay, thanks. One one more final person from the respected ladies out there in the team. Yeah, it's a combination of work done by the developers and also the operations team. Okay. 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 So I think uh, most of you, like, you know, you know what is CI, CD and all. So let's deep dive into what exactly happens behind the curtains, right? So basically, like you know as you all know that you know uh, market you know especially this uh, this it revolution that we are in so i will not be so much into philosophy and theory but i i just want to you know make the picture very clear here so why why does this sdlc why does this waterfall why does this agile most of you might be also knowing what is waterfall right so i will definitely you know uh, skip that part i will definitely dive into sdlc uh, of and agile so what is agile? So you must also be, I'm pretty sure some of you must be knowing agile. And is there anybody that doesn't know agile here? Okay, I assume that everybody knows. Okay, so yeah. So uh, basically if I look at the team here, so I understand that you know everybody knows SDLC, agile and waterfall. So let me uh, just briefly give a background of that and then, so what, out of my own experience, what I understood as a developer and as a DevOps engineer and as a DevOps lead and an SRE, SRE lead. So what I understood is, you know, the client, you know, the client and the market and the IT team. So an IT organization and the client and the market. So client is always a person with an idea, right? Like we see a lot of entrepreneurs coming up in this nation, in the great nation of India. So we have we have a lot of entrepreneurs coming up and entrepreneurs have the idea of making some solutions and available to the market. But the thing is, how do we capture the market? Physically, it was possible to capture the market, but COVID has taught us a lesson that, you know, if we are on digital platform, then nothing can beat, beat us up, right? If the business is in physical terms, then we may we may see a lot of losses. And after the COVID, you might have noticed, I think, uh, especially you guys are all in the IT industry, you might have noticed that, you know, IT, IT boom has gone very high. So why is this happening? Because everybody is thinking of going digital. Even the governments are going, planning to go uh, digital. That is one, one, one side of the coin. The other side of the coin, especially when when entrepreneur thinks about an idea or a solution to present to the market and to capture the market, he should be the first, 
right he should he should be he, he or she should be the first one to capture the market and to give a mvp at least when i say mvp it means like you know uh, uh, le let's say a whatsapp application with just the chatting feature minimum viable product right so are we making sense here so yes or no would help me uh yes that's true yes, yes. yeah thanks yeah so yeah so let's uh, uh, okay you must uh, because you are all mostly experienced you know why devops right so yeah this is where i'm coming market and technology so let's say we have uh, you know uh, one of our, our ladies in the group so has come up with the idea of tiktok or let's say whatsapp feature or instagram they have this you know uh, thought in their mind to launch an app for example the client which i'm working uh, i may not take their name but what they are doing is they will take the patients you know for example I'll, I'll just go into detail if you don't mind but what their application does is uh, they they are helping the doctors to revolutionize the cancer detecting uh, cells what they do is they will take the reports from the doctors and what they does is they have developed the code in ai and machine learning and what they do is they have developed code in such a way that you know once the pathologist takes the reports and you know upload those slides so what this ai and machine learning code does is it processes the slides it processes those reports and sorry it processes those reports and generates the slides detecting the accurate cancer you know whether it is a breast cancer whether it is a prostate or whether it is you know whatever kind of cancer it detects it and gives back the report to them so that's how things are working in the market so these are the guys what happened is these are the guys who came up with an idea and you know uh, these doctors who came up with an idea and they approached our client so what these clients have done is uh, our client has developed you know this application and this application is helping them to capture the market and that's how they are making good amount of money so when i say two sides of the kind one side is an idea one side is uh of course revenue so as i said here first come first serve because there is a huge competition in the market so what does client have so when 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 somebody with an idea you know comes to us like you know let's say we are all a part of organization when the client comes with an idea to us what he is you know thought first he wants you know like this is the client he wants his application to be developed as soon as possible and to reach the market as soon as possible right so am i making sense here yeah okay. yeah yeah, yeah. So, it, so you know, uh, is the space is good or let uh, if you want me to go fast i can go fast no you can go slow I, we don't have more knowledge about tails uh, okay cool awesome thanks man so yeah so whenever for example so as i said when the client comes with an idea he wants to capture the market first if you if you notice exactly about you know uh, when we you know go back into our past and notice when the whatsapp was released it captured it was the first time you know it was the first thing that we had in our life hey there is a, something called whatsapp and it captured the entire market and after that we had so many chat applications like hike and you know like you know and uh, we had this telegram and all but we have seen that you know it did not progress as, as much as chat uh, whatsapp because the goal behind every business is to capture the market first if you are the first guy and you have you have captured and you have you, you have the ability to capture the market and you are with a new idea then you are the champion right so the client's mind is always you know based on this speed he is like a you know fast and furious guy tiger wind diesel then yeah so how does this help so this it organization and the idea they go hand in hand with the help of devops so many of you said you know dev developers and operations right so this converts you know 
DEV developers and operations. So anyone who wants their product and their features to deliver faster to the users needs DevOps, right? Like this, like this racing car. Okay, why me? So as I said, I trained good number of candidates in DevOps, especially in corporates, not outside. This is my first batch, so I'll be emotionally attached if everything goes well. Uh, so I'll make sure everything you know is on the proper track. So I'll be focusing on only real-time implementation of DevOps because I'm working on DevOps. So I will also expose you to actual roles and responsibility of DevOps engineer uh, based on your experience. I will also teach you in such a way you'll be a job ready. So I will not, I will not, uh, I will not uh, give any fake promises. Uh, when I say I will make you job ready, because out of my own experience, I've trained people. So I'm saying this job ready. I think this is our ultimate goal. I will show you how technologies work together, and I'm passionate about not only teaching and training, but also making sure we get the job and get the job done in the project. So simple approaches to my approach would be simple to understand technology and in a real time as with along with real time as well. Usually I use day to day uh, examples to make people understand because you are already matured enough. I think I will I will change the way approach I teach. Okay, so what exactly is DevOps? So and again, I must acknowledge that you know these are the slides I did not prepare. I could not prepare because lack of time. So I have borrowed these slides from Visual Path team. So please don't shut me down because hey, uh, we we already saw this you know uh, uh, slides on YouTube. So as somebody says, it's automation, and somebody says it's DevOps and DevOps operation. Somebody says it's culture from our team. So somebody says it's about tools and philosophy, right? So yeah, let's dive in and see like this. So introduction. Okay, as I said, you know, as I already covered, you know, this is an idea. So these are slight exactly converts to my uh, whatever I said because I have not you know I have seen uh, in my previous projects also because we have something called we have developed an application for airlines ticket booking and uh, we have also sorry was somebody saying something that is echo sir echo your echo meeting. I don't know. I'm using a pretty good uh, headphones. This is the first time it's happening. I'm not sure, but I'm really any sorry. Any one about person? That. Yeah, so any one person uh, on mute, sir. That is a reflect to your voice. Okay, okay. Uh, please, uh, friends, I request all you know to mute yourself so that we will have a good experience here. Okay. So yeah, basically this animation and slides exactly you know uh, like the, the analogy I used here reflects here. So let's look into this properly. Okay. So let's say, let's say she's uh, some some entrepreneur like you know respected ladies. So with an idea. So she she has a very good idea of you know creativity and she comes into the market and she thinks you know hey I I have you know business idea and I want to uh, be an entrepreneur. So I want to make good money. I want to you know showcase my talent by selling these products. So what she she does is. She doesn't have the, she has an idea, but an idea in itself is not a good thing, right? It the idea is like small baby. So it needs a womb, you know, it needs an environment, it's it needs a lot of things so that that idea would actually materialize, right? So what happens is she doesn't know what is how this how to you know make this idea materialize or manifest in the real terms right so she doesn't know about the developers test this i mean so she doesn't know anything about mobile app development what she does is she comes with an idea and she meets the it folks okay so what happens is when when a client comes actually even you know when i personally visited a client uh, during my you know current project for sre so they have a lot of expectations from us because they think we are we are uh, from another universe and we will make everything you know manifest for them so what that does is they would put all those ideas in front of us and they will explain us what their ideas are about for example you only think and you think from your for example some of you are let's say you are an entrepreneur and you are approaching me i'm from an it organization and see we are we want to go hand in hand 
and you guys are uh, you know you want that whatever app whatever application whatever idea you have you want to put it in the market so that you would make good amount of money at in a proper manner right so she comes and she meets the folks of the it team so it team in itself is you know uh, works in a different culture so app having a thought is different from having a team right so id team works with a concepts like id team works in a culture id team works with a philosophy id team works with some tools id team works in a different manner right as many of your experience you might already know so yeah uh, as usual for example we know that you know uh, whoever comes to us as an id team so because we are a team let's say we are assuming that we are a team and somebody has come with an idea and we will try to understand what is their requirement first without requirement there is no start right so requirement we will understand we will try to understand what are the requirements and we will go forward so we will ask what are the product features so how many user base are you expecting so what would be the usage what would be the user requirement like you know as when i said user requirement so will they going to be on uh, you know mobile platforms or will they be uh, will this going to be only you know web application like desktop application like you know we also want to understand what is the market state so is it already the market is captured by already these kind of applications or this is the first kind of application itself right so once we understand this we actually you know once we understand these requirements we will know that you know we can brainstorm how we can do things after this right so now comes the thing main thing the blueprint of the game planning right so we will come up with the planning saying okay for example this is only you know front end application that doesn't need many more resources of back end then we would go in a different approach if this is for example if it's a banking application it's not it it needs a lot of you know database operations it needs a lot of security it's need it needs auto scaling it needs a lot of things because the user base will be a very big or very high right so based on the application we just develop we just plan out things right so are we making sense here right yes sir thank you okay so after that comes the now requirement is done planning is done we have charted out you know what is the technology that we are going to use because let's say because she she wanted as as you all see that you know she had this an app right in the form of app she only wants to go with an app right now so what we do is we based on the application development we come with an idea and we come with the design document so there will be two kind of documents hld documents high level documents and low level documents right so in high level document in designing part we come with uh, you know product features and uh, what the design would be what the architecture would be of the application architecture i mean you you might you guys must be knowing that you know uh, what would be the front end tier and you know what would be the back end tier what would be the middle layer right right you know uh, those kind of things right so based on that we design the product based on that we start thinking you know everybody brainstorms and everybody contributes in this right so yeah. after that once hld and lld is designed right and uh, the flow diagrams and flow charts are designed it comes to the actual team the core of the it team that is the development and developers right so when i say development team it also includes testers as well right once when when we minus you know when we remove when we exclude testers it's not a development team when we include testers then only it's a development team right so developers will start coding right so again again as i said development has also different different things right so but the, uh, we will look at them uh, yeah so testing yeah developers will develop and testing will happen so this is all one game right after that you know, once the testing is done and the module uh, module i will use it later but once the testing is done it will go to deployment right so operations team again 
so operations teams will deploy the product onto the servers okay and then operations will do make sure that the application is up and running right so after that comes some maintenance that we can see later part right so as i said you know whatever we have looked here just now so because the, you you guys already know this let me flip through uh, fast so what i have seen so far is the sdlc process right sdlc process all, has all these thing requirement gathering planning designing development testing and deployment and that is what we call as sdlc right so sdlc has a lot of uh, things in it sdlc again you know takes a lot of forms metamorphically so it takes waterfall agile spiral big bang etc we have a lot of things here so mostly we will be focusing on waterfall and agile because that's where the game has changed in the it industry like you know post 1991 uh, lpg reforms and before 1991 right so that is where the game has changed as you might be knowing you know waterfall has you know top down approach it never goes up as we see waterfall never goes down never goes up sorry so that is what the case uh, just for the uh, if somebody doesn't know and somebody is hesitant to you know tell me that uh, they don't know let me just you know flip through this again right in the waterfall model just for an fii requirement happens then design happens then implementation happens testing happens then the deployment happens then the maintenance so whenever once the product design is finalized there there is no go back again you know we don't look back even if the client says you know hey guys uh, in the whatsapp feature we only thought about chat but i also need video calling now id fox says no madam it is not possible and it would take another 6 months then in the meantime what uh, what you know other guys or other entrepreneurs did they came up with a chat and video video calling feature so in this game of 6 months somebody has already captured the market and they're making good money that means loss of business again right so this this was the failure of this water model so it used to take months because as i said as we've seen it it takes a lot of stages here right in the requirement itself it takes one month you know because to and fro you know discussion would be going on in the design itself it will take some time you know uh, a manager says you know as always manager says some you know we will use this technology and the you know senior devops or senior uh, platform engineers would say no 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 we will use kubernetes we will use you know eks we will use something else right so there will be lot of brainstorming so if this would take another month this would implementation would take 6 months and the testing say, testing takes another 3 months because again the ball will be keep jumping here and here here and here so that's where uh, after the deployment there would be burns there would be failure there would be code mail code smells and there there will be a lot of failure because it is practical that you know no code will go upright so that's where it takes a lot of time first and especially when i said uh, if we have if you if you remember fast and furious that guy was looking at us like you know he wants the the application to be deployed as soon as possible and he want to be the king right he want to earn some money and he want to do the business clients are here for business not for any sympathy and empathy okay so yeah as i said you know waterfall has lot of problems and she comes saying that you know i i want to see the product how it is being developed so uh, i want to have you know i i came up with the you know video calling feature so can we go ahead just implement video calling feature so she uh, this guy says because he's a it uh, folks it folks says you know hey no it's not possible because we are using waterfall model and the design and the process is already been decided right so there is no going back again so she feels frustrated and that's where you know the, this guy thinks our good manager thinks you know okay if this is the case we need to you know approach we need to change our approach toward the development that's where you know that's where they think you know this product whatever it is should be break down into small chunks right so instead of 6 months of development instead of 8 months of development i could have shown all this on the jira board but uh, i'm really sorry because uh, because of the confidentiality i cannot share those jira boards and all otherwise i would have shown 
so yeah so the product is broken into small small de product development is uh, broken into small small chunks that is two to four weeks that what that's what we call as sprint here right uh, do you guys know what is the sprint and all anybody who doesn't know just raise your voice well, i don't know okay i don't know okay 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 good okay so uh, what happens is uh, just for you all um, you know because as i said here right uh, it takes about 6 months just to deploy a chat feature of whatsapp right 6 7 months before that uh, somebody has somebody has already come in with the chat feature and video calling feature so again as i said there is a huge competition in the market that's that's where things will not work if the things are being lazy the things are not in the deadlines more because she wanted a chat feature as soon as possible but they have taken six months and six months also after that you know after the deployment there were a lot of issues and it went back it, it went back to implementation team again it went to testing team again they have reported some bugs again it you know it keeps repeating here and again it took two months to deploy just for the chat feature but the client is very you know sad about it so that's because i have seen myself this these things happening around me so th the wonderful idea of the agile came and you know what what the agile says is just this simple things because if i relate to you know uh, our daily life example right somebody of us really you know uh, we have put on weight and when we you know we want to shed off our weight right we want to shed off our weight and we were we are looking for ways to you know uh, shed our weight so what a trainer or what a you know nutritionist will say is divide your meals instead of eating three eat six meals per day small small portions correct so that's where this is like uh, this is like agile only so what agile says is hey instead of developing the entire product at once why not go with a small small like you know she said chat chat feature right so just focus on chat feature and just divide into small small weeks two to four weeks and just you know uh, just because they are here you know they have different thing so just develop you know welcome page and the login page and dashboard because their app is uh, art app, art gallery app that's why it is so when we log into you know uh, whatsapp if i take so it will ask us the number and this just shows the chat option right so it doesn't know it doesn't show anything in the initial days so after that came the you know display click option after that came the option of adding groups after that video feature after that payment you know after that you know uh, whatsapp web so we can also transfer the, our chat to on the web so desktop so that's how you know these things work here so because of the iteration we call this as an iteration okay two to four sprint and iteration right so what happens is now in this two to four week whatever we have seen here right we are doing it we're doing it in two to four weeks so we are what we are doing now we are only focusing on welcome page let's say welcome page login page and dashboard that's it and we are taking this as mvp design minimum minimal minimum viable product when i say mvp it's minimum viable that means we are like you know handing it over to the client saying that you know hey uh, your app is ready but with minimum features you can just launch into the market and you can ca capture the market meanwhile in another two to four weeks we will add the late, late later part of the features like you know we will add uh, you know uh, adding uh, you know uh, video feature or adding groups feature adding a display quick feature and uh, adding uploading the pictures uploading you know uh, deleting the feature deleting the pics and all so that's where client was really happy client is really happy if you take instead of client if you if you are there or if, you, if i am there then i'll be happy right if i if i'm getting at least something in the what about six months and what about two to four weeks so it's like one month in one month we are getting some product and we are good to go in the market and we are capturing the market so on the business side we are having our own plans and we are we are in, we are busy in capturing the market on the other side it is working really hard 
for meeting the business needs right this is called iteration and this is what the agile methodology follows right so with this do you think this will help the client any opinions do you see any uh, do you see any improvements like you know do you see that you know this really helps the client some any any one of you yes okay do you think uh, this should this will really help the client yes it will <laughs> yes sir okay okay awesome yeah so because if you think if you imagine yourself in the place of client then you will really feel good about it because uh, it team is giving us the mvp design and we are we have already deployed that you know uh, into the market so we are getting money we are getting the user base now we are capturing the market that's how that's how whatsapp has done strategically right so yeah now see as i said welcome page has been developed right login page has been developed and dashboard uh, has been developed gallery has been developed now here she comes in the first iteration and these guys and we as a team we have met her and we have asked hey how is your mvp design are you happy she is really happy and now come again so what what do you suggest for the next iteration next sprint so do you suggest any changes or do you want to improve the application so meanwhile she said yeah these are the products i want to upload and this is where i want to introduce pricing discounts and user notification and customer support okay so this guy said nice so our goal of for the next 2 to 4 weeks would be this one so meanwhile meanwhile okay we will go into that later part but our goal for the next 2 to 4 weeks for all of us is we will jot down the requirements again we will plan for it right for these requirements we will plan for it we will design the uh, design the code we will uh, we will ask the developers to develop we will ask the testing team to test and we will make the changes and we will deploy it again after this uh, deployment we will ask for the feedback from the customer right so this is the iteration process here so every two weeks every two to four weeks we are working in the sprint form and we are doing iteration we are developing new features we are deploying with the new features right so that's where their business is growing that's where our business is also growing <clears throat> if the client is happy we are happy because we get good hikes right so build and deploy i will i will i will go ahead okay any any questions here i want to pause here for 2 minutes any questions here okay no answer is good answer then i will move forward yeah sorry uh, anybody was speaking here okay no okay so yeah so build and deploy how so as i said um, like you know in this iteration like you know requ requirement gathering we understood planning we understood designing we understood so when it comes to development what actually happens in the development right so code is developed and build in the build server right so they will what all builds are automatically deployed to the test environment because as i said you know uh, previously we just like okay developers will de develop the code and they will build and they would uh, it, it, the build is sent to the test environment right so what testers will do is from there they will test all the functionalities as you might be knowing you know testers main you know uh, uh, their work is to for example list of products they will test in and out if the list of product is working or not using various methods they have their own methods to prove that you know developers are not doing their job properly right so they develop the code the, sorry uh, the developers develop the code and testers will test it and then if everything looks good if everything if some some of the builds are failing then they will again you know come back to developers and this process will go till the build looks successful once the build looks successful it goes to staging environment 
So if the staging environment, uh, I, I hope you must be knowing staging environment, build environment, developer environment, dev environment, testing environment. I'm, I'm assuming that, right? So once it goes to staging, staging is a finally, uh, staging is the like, you know, last but one uh, environment. So where if everything looks good, then we are ready to go in the production environment. So production environment is where, this is where we look at the actual application from the user perspective, right? For example, if, if you, you know, click icicabank.com, that is where we are looking from the user perspective. That's where the product is deployed, right? So, yeah. So software testers are testing. If, if they find any works and errors, they will again, you know, come back to developers and saying that, you know, please check the code, okay? All right. So once everything is done, so uh, I'll move a little fast in the in the interest of time. Okay, so once uh, developers have developed code and build artifact is already generated, then it is sent to operations team. Operations, what as I said, operations team will do is they will deploy the application into the service based on the requirements. Okay, they will deploy it and they will uh, tell us that you know your application has been developed uh, deployed. But the thing is. Most of the applications are Linux environment based and some of our Windows environment based some of our uh, you know different different flavors of the Linux environment but the developers have been developing on IDEs right integrated development uh, uh, environment so their whatever their environment is developers they just develop the code and you know if everything looks good they just pass it on to testers and testers once they test they pass it on to operations but operations has operations play in a different play field so they play they play in a totally different thing if if you want to deploy an application what i've seen you know uh, operations teams doing is you know they prepare a playground for these applications to be deployed so let's say when i say playground they 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 you know they ask us for the environment detail you know what sort of application is this what sort of security patches do you need what sort of os do you need what sort of uh, you know network ports that need to be open for this application? So all these requirements they need, and once they once they are you know once they are given all these details, then they will uh, look for the proper time and they will deploy your application. Once the application is deployed, there will be a burn again because as I said, application is developed in a different uh, application is deployed uh, developed in different environment but here this is this is a linux based environment in the production so production again it works with the different flavors right why you must be asking right you must you must be getting the idea why not this environment be replicated here right whatever the developers are doing in the uh, in in their environment right why not replicate the same environment here right let's say uh, i'll give you an uh, am i making sense here Yes, 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 yes. Okay. So yes. let's say, if, yeah, let's say if I give you uh, 100 rupees, right? So you will keep it in the purse. If I give you one crore, what will you do? Only one answer will help you. Invest. Uh, okay. Uh, in terms of invest, not in terms of invest, in terms of storage. Bank. In the bank. In the bank, right? Because you, because the amount is very huge and very sensitive and very precious, you are storing in, you are going to the bank, you are storing in the locker. That's how the things work here. Because this guy is just developing a unit, uh, unit of piece of code here. So he doesn't think about security and all, right? So he just develops in the, his laptop. But when it comes to operation, because for them, their only job is to make sure that this, application is not does not get hacked right for that they will follow all the measures of security that's why as you might be knowing some of you that linux based in, uh, environments are most secured we are uh, usually it is assumed that you know that linux distros are usually more secure so that is the same example that applies here so because these guys have developed in windows environment and this is deployed in you know uh, Linux-based environments, it obviously fails because 
now the applicant seems to be you know worried about what's happening here right so again you know as this girl is saying you know with the look that you know everything is burning now in the production right you know developer says it worked fine in our development environment so ops ops operations teams are facing problems so that's where you know i don't want to go into detail you know okay so yeah so if this is the case right if this is the case that happens every time right we see on one hand developers are faced with two to four weeks time right after four weeks of time a product a product is ready to be deployed feature is if i'll call it as feature feature one is ready to deploy and next to two to four weeks another feature is ready to do ready to be deployed that's how it goes from the perspective of development but on the flip side on the operation side you know they are worried about their uptime they are worried about the security obviously right if if you lose your one crore if somebody steals your one crore who would you ask you would go to bank bank people and you will bank them you will sue them right so that that's what their concern is so yeah because yeah as i said you know developers work for you know deploying features and deploying uh, all this and uh, operations team always works with system of time itl process driven when i say itl process breaking voice i don't know why my voice is breaking today probably this is uh, saturday that's why it doesn't like me to work on my laptop uh, i am audible now is it proper yes you are audible and clear oh thank you then uh, man i don't have any issues i can hear you yeah you need to check your uh, internet man you cannot blame me for that okay yeah anyways thanks sir so yeah so as i said operations team will play in another field and you know and these guys developers play in another field right so there is no match there is always a mismatch of environments and these guys are always fighting so these operations team in fact i only faced this uh, mess in my office when we were uh, working with previously before devops when i was a developer i used to we used to get calls in the night saying that you know hey, your uh, your uh, your product has failed your feature is failing in the production because usually operation guys works in the off hours they work in the shifts they work they deploy the feature in the off hours makes sense right so if something is being already used by uh, US, uh, in indian basically if whatsapp is being used by uh, indians right so basically if you want to deploy a feature we would do in the midnight 12 o'clock or 1 o'clock but these days you know you see everybody is using any time so usually operations team deploy a feature in the uh, window time actually they take a window time uh, usually off hours then they will deploy a feature okay after that but in this in, in in this huddle right in this in this huddle between the fight between the operations team operations team saying that you know you are duplicate you are applic your application is not proper and why are you coming up with every time you know with different different features and why are you you know troubling us because security everything is our focus if your application gets hacked uh, we will lose our jobs but the uh, development team is, says we have pressure from the client that you know we need to deploy the feature because client has different expectations from us so there is a battle ground here right there is a mud fight we usually say right in all of these who is at loss right customer is at loss right she she thought you know she in the in the beginning she came up with an idea saying that you know um, i will have i i have this idea i want to market i want to capture the market i want to be entrepreneur i want to earn the money so when she thought about the it company okay these folks will help me with the application development and they will help me with deployment i need not worry about but inside inside the house what's happening you know people of the same family are fighting here right you know somebody is not developing the application properly somebody is saying testers are wrong somebody is saying developer song somebody is saying operation team is not efficient so in that what happens is we have passed the deadline right we have followed the agile approach uh, agile approach but what we forgot to take into conference is operations team because operations teams are working in different way then for example if somebody is married you know 
uh, husband husband is calm and wife is loud then it's a problem right husband is loud and wife is calm then it's a problem sometimes not every time so that's where things were happening right? they are not coming into good confidence so as a result you know business loss right so customer said i don't want your company to work for me i, I am quitting so that's where the business goes off from the project so we have seen especially uh, if i re recall we had a pizza hut project in our company i am taking these names please pardon me because these these things happened years ago that's why i'm taking uh, these names right we had a pizza hut project so this that's what exactly happened in our organization so at the end of the day when we all uh, sat and decided upon the proper framework we lost the business so pizza hut uh, pizza hut has uh, you know uh decommissioned itself from uh, uh, from our company right so this is where developers and operations are not working together right so is it boring uh, is it more theoretical or how is it uh, is it making sense does it sounding interesting one answer would help me yes it is okay thank you thank you thank you yeah so as we see you know uh, developers has their own goals agile and uh, operations has their own you know uh, their uh, itil their stability their uptime their uh, maintenance their security ports networking and all right these guys are now you know like enemies right so uh, as we have all we have seen all of this right? they, they are fighting so yeah these these things really happen so this is not just a ppt but these things really happen yeah so yes as i, as I said it's a business loss so <laughs> as, as we see you know dev development is agile but operations is still waterfall that's very true so now the game enter the dragon so now all the team members here like you know whoever has joined the session now you are devops guys and you have been into the company now again tomorrow after the course if everything goes well you know you will be recruited into a company with lot of expectation there was one company uh, when i joined that company i was the only one devops engineer in that company so they were literally waiting for a devops engineer to change the game i was really afraid that time but it it was way back again so there are companies like that you know they only depend on one devops engineer and they think they will change the world right so devops come into picture so what this guys does is you know devops say hey now you should not fight okay uh, let let me you know take it faster in the interest of time so what devops says you know devops devops always says you know we should not fight we should work together we should always communicate collaborate integrate when when you should, when you say communicate whatever the developers are, are developing the environment details should be given to operations the operations team checks and say you know this will not work so please help help us with some other things so that's where you know this communication collaboration will happen right and you know uh, and uh, devops also takes into confidence of uh, uh, this uh, operations team and they will understand you know they will explain uh, everything to operations team that you know hey uh we we understand your problems but we also we should also understand the problems of developers because you might be working in off hours but in the daytime in the development time you know client is after us for deploying features so there will be reconciliation and you know they will come onto the one platform now everything in devops is automation because some of the frustration in the industry comes through manual work if i give you to develop a feature you know in a manual process and if i say you develop the feature in 10 days because you are doing it manually it will frustrate you because you have to copy one file from another file you know you have to copy uh, onto you know another server so it takes it takes lot of time it will frustrate you many times but the, what automation does is you know once you click what i i i am not sure i have developed you know one one feature uh, with a single click deployment so when when i have given to my team you know so what this does is you know one click deployment will automatically bring up the infra and deploy the application and it shows it gives the message 
to a testing team saying that you know there is a new feature deployed can you please test so it it really helped everyone it really made it it really make you know made everyone happy so everything manual should be automated that's what devops says right so automation in what sense you are saying automation but it won't sense. it should be in the code build the code testing we should automate software testing infra related changes deployment so it is covering the development part it is covering the operations part as well right so now everything goes well here so we are all ready to uh, the take the another project now these guys are you know in a good accord right right so actual life cycle of devops right when we say what actually happens so as we said you know here in communication collaboration and uh, integration so that's where we are going now so what we do is we integrate every stage of every stage here we integrate this stage with this stage this stage with this stage that's how cycle goes right so from the code build to the deployment everything is integrated plus automated right when we say this uh, theoretically what it what it does mean in 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 practical term right so developers develop the code they commit the code to bitbucket or github right from their code is checked out and build build happens build happens and build is destroyed uh, uh, developed and build is uh, a build goes through the vulnerability checking process like you know we have dependency check we have you know OWASP, you know vulnerability scanner and it does the process once it 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 says everything goes well then it is deployed to you know qa systems once qa system qa engineers check the quality and testing team does their test then it goes for delivery right whatever the changes i think these slides are a bit older so yeah basically i want to give so yeah once everything is done everything looks good it so this is just an high level overview there are so many stages here so it goes to production right so everything from software build to deployment is integrated and developed and uh, automated right so we are go live now and a user checks from his end and user gives the feedback that's how this cycle gets repeated right so after that monitoring comes in place that is a different thing again right so if you want to uh, just have a look please look at this whatever we discussed here so this is just a high level overview there are so many stages here again which are hidden as as for now okay yeah so any doubts here any queries no query means all good okay so as i said devops workload will go like this plan code build test release deploy and operate and one thing here they missed to add is here continuous feedback right feedback we take feedback from the customer every time so as i said you know in practical terms we use a lot of tools to work on this you know when we say all this theory right so we actually come into you know play the uh, technology here you know for pushing the code working the code we work with various scm tools git is famous bitbucket is famous right bitbucket is enterprise version and you know for you know integration continuous integration somebody said in the beginning right we use jenkins we have gitlab we have team city we have we have so many tools and uh, recently i had heard another one also i'm not able to remember the name so for building artifacts if we use mav and gradle and we have lot many tools right and for shipping purposes we use docker and docker is a wonderful technology here so for storing artifacts we use nexus we use jfrog at the factory we use s3 also right so for provisioning environment we use aws right so nowadays cloud uh, cloud is awesome man so after that you know for deploying build we can go you know directly deploy it we can use cloud formation templates also we can use but the famous tool for this is ansible chef is also famous but again uh, we will look into ansible so and once the deployment happens if this is the docker based containers you know for orchestration we use kubernetes here right kubernetes again is a wonderful technology and whoever is kubernetes expert then they have a good future for now 
then again for low test functional test it is all testing game so yeah this is the basic cycle that happens here and uh, we we forgot to add terraform okay. i think yeah so we will cover that later so as i said you know for a, if you are because since you are going into devops field or devops uh, philosophy culture so these things must be you know, you must be able to communicate because because i myself i myself has worked in a project where i was all alone contributing to a, a big project as i said i i worked on a airline ticket booking project that was a team of uh, 50 to 60 members developers and testers but i was the only devops engineer there so they, they have really tested my life so for that as i said communication when i when i see these words you know it really they really mean actually you know we need to communicate we need to collaborate because uh, we need to communicate with developers and testers we need to collaborate with them as well so please uh, be prepare yourself if you are shy if you are not that outward person if you think you cannot speak then you should be you know preparing yourself uh, to speak and collaborate with different teams right you should be setting up meetings you know to bring the people you know when when there is build failure and you are not understanding the ecosystem for example if it, uh, there was one project uh, an ios project so i didn't know what how ios works so i had to understand the ios environment then only for that i i used to set up daily meetings to collaborate with them to understand how things work so that's where once unless until we don't understand the ecosystem and how they work we cannot replicate or implement the same things in ci cd take my mark my words here unless until we don't understand the ecosystem we cannot implement what is devops what is ci cd ci cd is not about not just about you know git maven you know docker and kubernetes it is more than that right it is understanding an ecosystem without understanding ecosystem even if you so imagine they are using gradle and you are going and you are suggesting maven that we are out of foolishness right unless until we don't understand the ecosystem that's why i'm saying so that is that that's where it comes so os knowledge is must because we are deploying on to linux servers and whatever when when the de deployment comes if the application is not working we should be in a position to you know log into those systems ssh and you know see what's happening right systems knowledge is must and infrastructure because uh, operations team uh, as an operations team as a team as a member of operation we also needs to work with infrastructure and terraform will terraform the superman will help us here well as i said everything is cloud so cloud is must and uh, sdlc knowledge you all know so you are champions here so build and release uh, as i say continuous integration as i said when I, when i say integration everything is integrated and we need to when when one of the team of, let's say uh, for example again i'll give you a real life example when when uh, i had to i had to you know uh, i was working when i was working in ios project so there was one guy who was a load tester okay so his only work was to test the load so but what he used to do is he used to work in the night shift for some reasons so what he used to do he used to you know test the application test the build you know apart from the off hours so what as a devops engineer what i have done i have taken himself understood the ecosystem what i have i said is i have developed i have integrated his functionality the load testing part the jtl reports and all so i have integrated that in my jenkins pipeline and asked him ma'am whenever you are online just test this entire pipeline and see everything is working there so this is when i say integration this is what it is right so orchestration when i said you know right when we orchestration means really orchestrating the live environment if the pod is going down our application should never go down and for that we have sls when i say sls slos it it means you know as a client the client the client makes an agreement with you as a devops engineer or as a product uh, uh, a development team a client says you know even if my application goes down more than 5 minutes you should pay me $1000 so sla is like you know 5 minutes in 5 minutes it can go down but not more than that right 
so that is our slo service level objective for us and service like a level agreement with client and us right so that place so that's where this orchestration really helps once a pod gets terminated immediately another pod comes up salute to the kubernetes team so network and security we will see it is important containerization as I always said for shipping the project or for shipping the modules it is it plays awesome role monitoring and it plays another it is another ball game right once everything is done so who is watching your project right who is watching your product and monitoring when when i when i talked about sre i had this privilege to be leading the sre team so i understand what monitoring actually you know without monitoring client will always have sleepless nights i can vouch and that because my client is a wonderful client but he always has a problem of monitoring the product so after engaging after we as a company engaged with them so now he has is is sleeping because our team works in ships and monitors the product that's where these things go so course coverage uh, do it like a pro bro so yeah project we have a project here so uh, so topics we will cover all of this as i said big bucket maven scripting ansible docker kubernetes terraform monitoring okay so project uh, you will get all the slides i think so as i said you know uh, we will cover the linux part we will cover you know the cloud we will cover version control we will cover jenkins we will cover nexus or jproc active directory whatever it is sona cube right and uh, uh see this is this syllabus is not fixed as such because out of my own or experience i might give you an overview of devsecops also and uh, there are some tools like you know atlantis cd you know or octopus deploy so as and when uh, time comes up i will definitely for example if I, if we are if we are working on jenkins i would also introduce you to gitlab right just to make your resume more stronger right i am not i'm not i'm not like you know i'm not uh, fixed to this tools only i will also help you with you know uh, introducing to different different uh, gitlab uh, cd uh, when it comes to terraform and all i will also introduce to the terra grunt if time permits right so now that's how we will uh, take things slowly and uh, in an awesome way so i really you know love terraform very terraform man yeah so if i may have to say you know out of my all busy schedule honestly i have uh, done aws solutions architect associate certificate uh, i am certified in terraform associate and uh, uh, vault also so now i am planning for professional certifications so but uh, due to crunch of time you know uh, i am a lead and uh, i lead a team of 15 members uh, when i say 15 members there are 20 juniors 20 freshers i am training them and uh, yeah i i'm working in three projects so yeah that's it uh, from my end so we will be as i said uh, uh, real time implementation when i say real time implementation i will expose you to different different architectures okay so because you are all matured because or you are all already experienced so i will introduce you to different different architectures we, our focus should be only not only on project because project when i say project project will vary from one project to another project if you just work on now one single project which has you know uh, this modules you know if you go into another project let's say you you got as a you got a job as a devops engineer and you will find to your surprise there is no nginx tomcat rabbit mq you are, it's a sales for project what you will do you will you will be surprised right so that's what my experience says more than focusing on project you know it's good to you know uh, get exposed to different architectures when i say architectures for example uh, there was uh, there was a requirement you know uh, recently like you know 6 months 7 months back so what what happened is they they had this medical device so they wanted to upload you know one report uh, from those medical device and we and the requirement was just to store that document in a, in a storage and from there you know they wanted some functionality such that you know that document is retrieved from another side right from another country 
so for that so we i i asked them so what is the functionality and after functionality explanation i asked them so how often do you use the application so every day so th their user base is like you know sometimes low and sometimes high so what we have done is we have uh, we have given them a serverless architecture so that's where it is helping them so we have deployed our team has deployed honestly uh, uh, de uh, de developed entire infrastructure in serverless with terraform so that's why i'm saying when i say instead of focusing on more on real time implementation of the project we better focus on the project architectures best practices yeah definitely as i said you know my plan would be okay uh, let it open we'll see so yeah every every topic comes with an assignment and my teaching ha has always been especially in the corporate without assignment we will not go forward but here because since this is outside organization i cannot place restrictions on you but if you do my assignment so assignments will not be hello boys assignments would be from my project only so i will give you the real time project tasks and you have to implement them once you implement them you can and uh, you can you know reflect those implementation on your resume so that you will be confident in your interviews that's that's my that's my plan okay and uh, uh, visual path also has some books and documents and scripts if you want to look at and uh, they will share about face group and all so i think yeah Sir, that's how, it how uh, much how much uh, real time project uh, you trust in this course sorry sorry come again how much uh, real time project you explain like oh, two, so three, four, that's five. what uh, so if i if i if, if you uh, heard me just saying that you know yes we have a real time project here so more than that as i said you know if you look at one project and prepare in such a way and you'll be surprised when you enter into the uh, industry so what i will do is i will explain you the project but i will also expose you to different different architect our our focus would be more on architectures okay so you will understand how things work like you know private subnets public subnets where you will actually place you know uh, your uh, uh, application in the vpc or in the subnets right and when it's uh, you know very flexible application how would you go to serverless application so that's how my just i i want to just to give you just there will be real time application uh, project implementation don't worry uh, i hope that answers you yeah please uh, raj can i know what is the course duration and uh, real time project implementation duration so yeah so again when i say uh, everything goes hand in hand okay everything goes in hand in hand so project application and the uh, course would take around i think 40 to 45 days okay so this will be uh, monday to saturday so uh, sunday i will give you time for practice okay and i also want to take a break on sunday yeah are you going to cover for the automation okay Sorry, sorry. Come again. Are you going to cover Python for automation, and yes. as well as like Bash or uh, for scripting languages? Yes, Bash scripting and Python. Python, I will give you uh, the task which we have done in our project, mm -hmm. automation task. Okay, thank you. So I, I will give you the task which we have done from our projects only, not from the internet. Actually, you'll be covering the AWS part in this course, right? As part of this demo. Yes, uh, as I mentioned yes. here, right? Uh, AWS. And, uh, right. Not CI/CD mm -hmm. on AWS. Please, please mind, okay? I, I, I will not go into code commit code because because I have uh, somehow I feel that you know so many of the industries are not using code commit code deploy. So we mm -hmm. will go with uh, OSS uh, uh, um, tools only. Okay. So another quick question from my side, uh, Raj. Like, uh, do you think that uh, as a DevOps engineer, we also need to learn uh, the AWS, you know, uh, administration part? Uh, working uh, on. See, AWS administration part means exactly. What do you mean by that? I mean uh, configuration, configuring, deploying, and I mean like uh, the virtual machines, the automation part. Those things 
is that really so, required for devops engineer or yes 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 because because uh, let me give you another example okay because i am from devops so when i entered mm -hmm. into current project so they wanted us to you know deploy jfrog at the factory so they, uh, please mute yourself yeah so thank you uh, so what they have asked us you know they had this jfrog auto factory on their saas so on the cloud so because due to high billing what they have asked us is you know um, they wanted to bring bring down or uh, you know migrate that jfrog at factory into on prem so what i have done is let me this can be shown so that's why i'm showing yeah so i have developed this entire code so what i have done is as you said you know deploying and all virtual machines and all so for jfrog at the factory i have developed and this is kind of administration and this is kind of deployment as well so this really helps you you know become all rounder uh, sorry uh, um, uh, i don't know your name so this helps actually yes it's good to have always because devops engineers are presumed as assumed to be all rounders so it's better if you are all rounders so anyway we will cover in the course so that's not a problem for us fine raj thank you yeah yes. hi raj and hi another one question if yeah. you, uh, we complete your course after you know, how much uh, year experience we for like <laughs> one year two year that's much knowledge we get see i i am a devops panel and you are asking me the question you know i cannot tell you that but uh, see based on the course based on the uh, course content and uh, the teaching uh, once the course is about to finish you will understand how much experience you need to gain so how much experience do you actually can put on the resume but uh, i will give i will leave it to your discretion okay i'm sorry about it but but this is not this is more than a fresher game and that's for actually sure. um, actually a lot of yeah. companies asking the experienced person in devops there is that's no where, requirement uh, that's what I, as a devops yeah person. that's what i am saying i have given you hint this is more than a fresher's game when i say mm. more than a fresher's game it's experience here yes yeah okay okay try to get it okay whatever i'm saying i will not directly say you know put down put down 5 years put down 3 years put down 4 years but whatever i am telling you in the course it will be my, out of my own experience it will be out of my own you know projects tasks so that means you can code your experience here. Okay. Uh, yeah yeah raj yeah. 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 yeah can we generate uh, the works without coding knowledge sorry sorry come again yeah, without coding knowledge uh, is it possible to learn devops come on man no. <laughs> devops is not possible without coding because automation so means there will be coding yeah so but we'll be me, scripting yeah yeah trust me uh, there are some projects without scripting so because yeah. currently last project whatever i've done it was on purely on terraform so terraform doesn't require any scripting but as i said for jprog you know we have used only shell script here but that too only for instruction purpose so you need not worry about that so okay. yeah hi raj i have another one doubt in devops yeah. we only need to python bash and linux that's it no there is a required another programming language like java c c++ no 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 it's good to have but you know most of the times as i said as we are trying to understand for example you don't know anything about java okay and uh, you know only about maven right so you you are a person with the already you know good knowledge on maven and as you are collaborating with the developers and asking them to you know expose you to the ecosystem of the project when i say ecosystem of the project how the project work let's say you know they they deploy their project in the form of jar right so what we will do is uh, you will ask them for example because you don't know the java so you will ask them 
how do you deploy a jar file or how do you prepare a jar file so they will give you the command like you know java hyphen jar dot uh, name dot jar so what you will do is take that command copy it somewhere and you will paste that copy uh, you will paste that command in your jenkins build right so using those commands only you will build the code that's how it goes so you don't have to be a programmer for that at least just basic knowledge would help and uh, in the long run you will understand things Yeah, Raj, in, in, in the AWS, EKS and Cloud is also covered, right? Yeah, EKS will be there. Uh, yes, EKS will be there. And uh, first, we will focus on Kubernetes. Once you understand mm -hmm. Kubernetes, then understanding EKS would be easy for you. Yes, yes. And That's not Cloud complicated here. Right? Uh, because mm -hmm. as I'm teaching my uh, juniors also, uh, you know, we will usually our goal is not to make things complicated here. You know, if I directly jump into EKS, you know, I will say, you know, in EKS we have this, we have that. So, but if you don't focus on Kubernetes, then it will not help. Yeah. See, uh, which programming language helps us very much? Sorry? Which programming language helps us? Programming language, as I said, you know, you don't have to be, you know, expert in programming language. You just have to know the ecosystem. Best. So, for example, if you are working for a sales for sales for project, Salesforce project. So there, you will, you just have to understand how Salesforce ecosystem works, right? How the uh, project works there. Once you understand that project, you will uh, directly implement those project requirements in CI/CD. Just be smart. That's it. Now you don't have to go back and study all the programming language because every project differs. Sir, I have another one. Though. Yeah, one second. Uh, give me a Hello. second. I'm just getting a call. One second. One second. Yeah. Okay. Ah, uh, hello, sir. It's fine now. Yes. 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 Fine. Yeah. So I have one doubt, sir. In DevOps, yes, sir. it's uh, required more coding like a developer. Or only, uh, only maintenance, like no, uh, no, no, and no, no, no. See, see, DevOps is all about coding only, but not like programming. So, for example, if you say Ansible, Ansible has its own DSL. When I say DSL, domain specific language. So, Ansible, because Ansible is important to us, we just try to understand the code, how how we will write play, playbooks, right? In Terraform, Terraform has its own DSL, but trust me. You know, even the non-programming background guys also are excelling in my project because this is not as core programming. We we will not any we will not write any ifs and buts and if else loops or while conditions. We we will not write here. This is plain different uh, 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 language. So this is very easy actually. Yeah, yeah, thanks. Yeah. Clear, sir. Don't clear. Thank you. Yes. Awesome. Okay. Hi, Raj. Sir. Uh, yeah, uh, Maliadri. Yeah. Sir, if you will have to work on different uh, provisional environments like Azure, mm -hmm. we 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 have we also learn that uh, Azure. Ah, yes. See, basically, cloud has cloud foundation is all. For example. Uh, it's like you know foundation is always the same for example uh, in aws we call virtual machine as you know ec2 and in azure we call we call it as something else so in gcp we call it as something else so in aws storage we call it as s3 and here so the names are different but the ideology is same so once you understand aws you can uh, you know understand azure if your requirement is for, for Azure, you can learn the DevOps course and you can skip the AWS part and you can go on learn on Azure. Okay. But ideology foundation is same for you. Okay. And cell scripts, cell scripting also different. Cell uh, scripting is a little bit different because we deal uh, here uh, with the OS level, so little bit. Okay, thank you. Yeah, no problem. Rakesh, you were saying something. 
Yes, Raj. Actually, finally, see, I am I'm a system administrator. Okay. My question is, is it suitable for me to change the, my career? Absolutely. I have one of my colleagues who, who was in system administration and he was working in my organization only from last four years. So because mm -hmm. he got bored of that, uh, you know, repetitive job, so he yeah. has transitioned into DevOps in it. Now he is in my SRA team. Okay. So, and also I did RH294 certification. Is it any advantage for this one? This I, I don't think so. But when especially it would be really helpful when you are troubleshooting in the production environments. That will okay. be really helpful. So with, uh, what uh, if I give you an example, uh, this guy who was transitioned from system admin to here. Mm -hmm. So what, what I have done is I have every weekend he takes a session on Linux and exposes all the team members to the Linux environment. So that's how he's contributing to the team. Okay, okay. It helps. It really helps. Thanks. Yes. Yeah. Thanks. Okay. You have seven years of experience and no coding experience, right? Yes. So are you ready for uh, some good hard work? Yes, I am ready. <laughs> that's <laughs> what is required, man. So because the thing is, like, yeah. if I want to be in India, same security is fine. If I want to move abroad, like I want to know, uh, just learn DevOps basically. Yeah. And I'm you... ready for hard work. Yes. Yeah. See, first requirement. Uh, if you are committing for the first requirement, that is hard work. Then the rest will follow. Yeah. Okay. So this is completely see, morning see, batch, right? Do you have any evening batch? No, this is morning like, with batch. With you, with uh, you, with you, basically. Yeah, with me only it's morning batch. So, <laughs> My so basically, shift is uh, shift. okay, okay, Chaitanya. Sorry, Chaitanya, I don't know, but uh, how this visual path will decide. So I'm not sure. They said it's a morning batch. Okay. Yeah. So and Chaitanya, one example uh, because uh, you said you want to go abroad. So. Yes the 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 sheen the the you know best part of the devops these days especially i got an offer from sweden and trust okay. me when i say this they wanted to take me in without even interview looking at my resume they okay. just spoke to me once that's it okay so that's where the things are moving now everybody needs devops so just do some hard work and uh, okay. that would be enough for you and i i will make sure that you know uh, I will I will try to help you. Yes. Okay, sure. Yeah, with real time tasks. Yeah. Okay, sir. Yeah. So then, uh, anybody else? Any doubts? So one more thing is like after yeah. completion of this course, we can either yeah. apply for ad, uh, AWS admin or Terraform even. Uh, like for yes, yes. yes, 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 yes. You will be full stack DevOps, so you okay. can go into you, you know you can go into AWS if you want. You can go into DevOps, purely DevOps. You can go into infra like you know infra admin, uh, putting only Terraform and AWS. So yes. Okay, it will cover the basics to at least mid level part. In no, as I said, I will give you my project tasks. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, okay. Because I'm already working, so I know what are the requirements. So usually what my juniors are doing and I am doing, as I said, I have see, I'm not faking here, right? I have shown what I'm okay. doing in the my laptop only. So yeah, yes. I will instead of me doing, I will give you the task. So you will do yeah. okay. Understood. Yeah. So I think this session ended abruptly, so most have uh Lost the yeah, or something. No, I I did not know why it ended. I think they must be having some time limit. I guess one and a half hours. So that's why I think it broke. So most of them were actually not able to connect back. I guess. Okay. We are only six members. Now. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. So probably yeah. So very soon we will start the batch. And okay. uh, because this is outside my organization, so I need to keep things in my mind because. Everybody is from different background. In, your, in my organization, usually what happens if I say yeah. one word, so they will they will catch the word easily because they are working yes. with me. Yes. So, yes. Yes. I need to be pretty sensitive here. Yes. So Linux also you will be coming from basics, right? Yes. Yes. Basics. Basics to mid level. 
okay they will not go till the sys admin level because they will be only you know troubleshooting issues from the perspective of devops right okay if yes. the things are going beyond our control then we will pull you know id team and uh, developers into picture so okay yeah. so i mean you i mean you can't even take a evening batch right like you are possible for like morning batch uh-huh. only yeah because i work uh, from uh, 2 to uh, 11 now as of now okay. so so you work in the morning shift is it yes sir morning 6:30 to 3:30 acha oh okay okay sir raj what are the timings for training session this daily uh in the morning they will decide uh, the team will decide uh, usually they said i think around 7 to 8 or 8 to 9 i'm not sure okay Okay. So, so Chetanya, let me think about you, and let me talk to this team. So we'll see what we can do. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Sure. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. So actually, I have to go for a drive now. Uh, drive as in we have uh, interviews. Uh, drive today for Bangalore. Okay. If you know anyone, if you know anybody in the Bangalore, let me know. Uh, we have a drive going on in our company. Yeah, sure. guys. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And uh, yeah, if everything goes well, and uh, I might help you in future also. Just giving a hint, not committing yeah. to that. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, thank you. Okay. Chalo, thank take you, care. Have a wonderful thank day. You. Nice meeting you all. Bye. Yeah. Thank you. Bye.